Hey, what's up guys, Mendel here. Hope you are all doing wonderful and awesome. So in this video, I'm gonna show you five production tips for your metal mix. So as always, let's dig right in, here we go. All right, so effects number one, automated filters. Now, this is a song of mine from an upcoming solo album. The song is called Harpsichord. Working title, perhaps might change. But we have this part going to a heavy riff. Right? And the thing I, I like to do is, just by doing this thing, changing that up, I want to emphasize like the riff afterwards. So a cool thing you could do is like do an automated filter. So when we just press the right automation here, we'll go to the track. Let's just drag it in. That, so it wrote that because we had the right thing on here and I'll just delete these. So we have a straight line. Just like so. And most of the time when I do like a filter, I don't want to start all at the bottom. I want to hear some of the riff when it begins. So let's say, let's start at around 300. Hey, okay, that sounds pretty cool. So in context. It's so simple, but effective. Okay, production tip number two is a radio effect. Now this is also very simple, but again, in a production, it's so effective. So what you can do is filter off everything that's low. So I'm just gonna loop this section over here. And then filter off some of the high, not all of it. And then perhaps to, because like this upper mid is not really focused, perhaps dip around that area. So it's not like really thin radio effects wise thingy. So when we take a listen to that, we get this. And it makes that part after that way thicker because there's a lot of low end information missing. Like there's already some thickness of the riff there, but when we filter all that off, that next part slams way more. So try that in your mix. So production tip number three is stutters. Now, what do I mean by that? Now, I already did it somewhere in the song, but I'm just gonna use this as an example, then I'm gonna play you the song part. So basically what you can do when you have this part. So let's, for, just for fun, let's keep that filter on. But I'm going to go to 30 seconds now. So when I zoom in, and then I'm gonna like cut every single 30 second note, basically. You could also do this by automation, but I think it sounds better when I actually cut the event. And let's say we do a stutter around somewhere, let's say, let's see how this sounds. So I'm deleting every second note. Something like that, and let's do some random ones. I don't know, just have fun with it. Might sound weird, but let's take a listen. Something like that, just have fun with it. Perhaps this one sounds cool if I do it like this. Perhaps remove these as well. There we go, so we have this. Now, actually at the intro of this song, you can see all these cuts here, and it's all done by hand. It took a while, 
but actually you can cut out like a pattern. And what you need to pay attention for is when you do a cutout, like cut here, but then drag it a bit backwards so you have a bit of that intro and outro timing. And it can actually sound really cool. So it's, you get something like this. with it. Try different patterns, perhaps time aligned or riff aligned like cutouts. Have fun with it. Now production tip number four is 808s and bass drops. Now this is an 808, so with some good headphones or speakers you can hear like the sub below end. Simple 808 or we have like a bass drop over here. Now, when I use an 808, it's most of the time to emphasize the floor toms. So this is without the 808. And now with the 808. So it kind of gives the illusion that the floor toms are way heavier than they actually are. Again, without the 808. With the 808. And over here, like, I like to use like a sub, like a bass drop, so this thingy. Perhaps when like a breakdown begins. Like nice and thick, like low end. Now an important thing when you do this is what I have on my instrumental bus. So everything goes into this bus, except for the 808 and the bass drop and I have like a sidechain filter with the 808 and the bass drop on this band. So sidechain one. So basically what it does, so for example when you listen to this part, it ducks the whole mix a tiny bit to make room for that bass drop and basically the same thing happens here with that tom. So what it helps doing is it doesn't per se stack it up. So when you have the tom and the uh, the 808, that afterwards it sounds more thin. But basically, the mix because of the frequency sidechain makes room for the bass drop, and then it evens out as soon as the bass drop goes away or the 808 goes away. So that's a cool production tip for you. All right. So final production tip. Production tip number five is catapult into oblivion. Now, let's say I have this lead over here. So focus on this part. I'll color it red so you can focus. So this part. Now, a cool thing you can do with that is basically almost let it let it sound it's going into space. And I remember um, back when I was in the band Aborted, uh, Jacob Hansen, the amazing producer from Denmark did that to one of my solos and it sounded amazing. I was like, it's going into space. So basically what you do is this. So we have this length, right? So I'll just use the range tool and select that part, that. And over here I have my solo group. So my lead is going to my solo group. And what I'll do is I have a send to my, this is, let's see, my delay and my reverb. So what I'll do is I'll put this almost all the way up, just like so, and I'll try to do the same thing here. So all the way up. And then of the actual group track, I'll put the volume a bit down, just like so. So let's see what happens now. So in solo, and I could even exaggerate it more, like perhaps a tiny bit more, So basically what happens, the overall volume is going down, but the sense to the delay and reverb is going up, which creates this effect. Now it's going all the way into the background. So now when we play this,
sounds cool, right? I think it sounds cool. All right, so there you have it. Those are five production tips to up your metal game for your metal mix. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. And until then, see you next time. Cheers. <music>